Hey guys, I'm Bobby. I'm Brent. And today on the Vegan Cooking Show, we're gonna show you how to make this sausage and peppers recipe. Ho ho ho, next on, on Now You Know. know. All right, Brent, so yes. vegan sausages and peppers. Yes. What? Is that Wait, even a thing? Do you even have to ask at this point, I Bobby? know, I don't have to yeah, ask. Stop it's... playing dumb. We know you're not I know. dumb, I think. <laughs> so yeah, Brent, I don't know what this is, but it looks like meat. Yeah, but guess what? It ain't. It ain't, Bobby. It ain't me. I'm going folksy today. It Look ain't. Look at that. That is fake sausage, my man. It feels like sausage. So we got a couple different ones going on today here for our fake sausage and peppers recipe. We got Beyond Meat, which is a pretty dope brand. Dope is um, dope. Yeah, they make a lot of uh, faux meat things like chicken and uh, burgers. burgers. The burgers are really good. Yep. Oh, come on, you were you were you were I, ready for yeah, that I one. Know. Sorry about that. You that were stocking cheap. the jinx on that, that one. Shot right that there. was a cheap shot. I haven't tried these yet, so I'm very excited to give them a shot. Mm -hmm. What I have tried though is this uh, brand here, Field Roast. Field Roast. That makes another faux ah, Italian sausage. I get it because you're roasting plants instead of animals. It's oh. They grow in a field, Brent. I didn't get that until you just said it right now. So well, that's, there you go. that's pretty cool, but these are really good. I already know that. That's and cool. then we got our usual usual suspects of uh, peppers and onions to go for sausage and peppers. So I was not prepared for that. Well, you have been... I gotta be honest, that's stuck oh. in my craw. Don't juggle. Juggling is stuck in my craw. This, this is a very <sighs> brief segment of something stuck in Brent's craw, which is Juggling is annoying. Really so should we get into our ingredients? I think so. I think we've wasted enough time. Let's show them what they need. You'll need vegan sausages. We used field roast and beyond meat. You'll also need an onion, some peppers, and olive oil. All right, Bobby. So it's time for step one. We need to chop up our veggies and our sausages. All right, are you ready to do this, Brent? I'm ready to do this. Are y'all ready for this? Okay, Brian, are you ready for the next step? I think so. Right. What are we doing? So this step, we're going to be putting basically all our ingredients inside this like the, the walk. walk. A walk, walk like the animals, talk like the animals. And uh, then we're going to take our vegetables. Yep. And we're gonna throw them in there and let them start to. Yeah, with our olive oil. Let's start bringing some stuff over. Right. You wanna get those uh, onions and I'll do the peppers. So right now it's pretty big, but it'll start to sink down as it starts to cook. Yeah, it'll shrink up on us. Shrink up? Shrink up, shrink in, shrink out. I think we're ready to start throwing our sausages in. We're gonna do this one in a separate pan because our wok isn't quite big enough, I think, to fit the sausages into. It's a little tight in there. So we're gonna do our sausages in a separate pan and combine them afterwards. All right, Brent, so while we're waiting for our sausages and our peppers to cook, okay. it's time to give you our little factoid of the week. Okay, I like learning things. Yeah. I like being able to hold things over people's head. Like, I know something you don't, so. I know something hey. you don't know. So today, this week's fact is going to be the World Health Organization report has classified bacon and sausage as carcinogenic to humans. Wait, what? Yeah. So you're telling me sausage and bacon causes cancer? Yes. And that is that, from that the World right. Health Organization That report. can't be right. That's fake. That's fake news, Bobby. Listen, listen, Brent. The research is out there. So don't eat sausages, don't eat bacon. Wow. Okay, Bobby. I'm feeling pretty good about our little sausage and pepper concoction. I know, we've here. never really made this specific thing before. Yeah, it's looking never, awesome. I've never tried this before and it's looking amazing. Yeah. But before we can try it, we gotta grade it out. Right. What is our first grade? Bobby, it's healthiness! Oh, crap, I forgot. <laughs> Sorry, I became Dora there for a second. Dora the Explorer. Dora the Explorer. All right, Brent, what would you say healthy-wise? I like how there's no soy in the Beyond Meat. That's pretty cool, and it's not sauce, actual sausage, which as we learned earlier in the episode is carcinogenic. So, so this is not carcinogenic. That's a pretty big step, I, yeah. I feel like. So, so yeah. That's why we know this is not going to contribute to uh, any sort of cancer development, so, that, so that's that, plus. Feels, that feels like a pretty big plus. I'm personally, I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go B. Okay. Health, personally, I feel like the frying in the oil kind of takes it down a few notches for me. Yeah. I do like that it's, you know, the 
vegetables, the onions and the peppers, that's good. Mm -hmm. The sausage is made from pretty much all, or from all plant-based ingredients. Yeah. It doesn't have soy, I love that about it. For me, it's I guess just the frying that kind of takes frying. it down. The frying takes it down a little bit. So I'm gonna go B. Okay, I I'm gonna go similar to you, but I'm gonna go B plus. Okay. So next, let's talk about our cleanup. Honestly, this is not too bad. We got the pans and we got the pans. The walk, you know, the walk, walk, walk. But um, yeah, I'm probably gonna go uh, B plus. I'm gonna up. I'll agree with you. Okay. Yeah. I feel like this, this is just the best grade for it. Let's uh, talk about our costs now, Bobby. Costs. I would say, honestly, not too bad. Um, yeah, see, I'm not so sure. The thing with this one um, is the, the, the Beyond Meat sausage is pretty pricey. Beyond Meat was, uh, it's pretty there's pricey. also Light Life and- uh, Yeah, I mean, you don't have to use that brand. There are other ones that are cheaper. The yeah. Beyond Meat one, I was actually kind of shocked at how expensive it was compared to the other ones. But, um, you know, obviously we haven't tried it yet, so we'll see if it's worth the extra price. Yeah. But I feel like for the amount of food you can make with your peppers and onions, which are really cheap to get, yeah. I think I might go B plus. Okay. I think I might go B plus because I feel like, you know, like I said, you can substitute your own fake faux sausage. Mm. So it doesn't have to be the most expensive one there is out there. Mm. But hopefully, um, depending on uh, how our, our taste test goes, it might be worth it to me, you know, because I love all their other stuff. I'm willing to pay the top dollar for that other, like their burgers and stuff, oh, yeah. how good they are, so. I've never had this before, so I'm excited to try it. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go B, yeah. flat B, and only because. Okay. Come with me, Ethan. Oh, what, what's happening? What's that? I, I don't even know what's going on right now. All right, we, I forgot that we were gonna, you you, you, you use uh, mayonnaise on yours. I usually like to put some mayonnaise, some dipping mayonnaise on the side. Which is or, interesting, I've never heard of that before with sausage and peppers. Or put it in the If you're the making a bread, I yeah. like making a sandwich. Which kind of makes more sense. That does, um, yeah. So what do we want to start with, Brent? Do we want to start with the... Uh, I, I, I can't beyond. wait to, yeah, I need to know how this Beyond Meat stacks up. All so right. I want to do that one first. Let's do it first. You can kind of tell the difference here. The Beyond Meat is like, a little bit darker, and also if you look, put the you can see the kind of the casing that they put yeah. on. It's got like the skin, like a sausage, or whatever. Yeah, like so. like sausage skin. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Let's it's hard to it. get some peppers in there. Yeah, no, it's hard to get them both. Right, here we go. So, Brad, what would you grade the Beyond Meat? I'm really impressed by the Beyond Meat. Yeah, it just tastes like sausage. The texture is pretty pretty impressive. Yeah, to me, I I haven't had real sausage in a long time, but my God, like I. If you had put that in front of me and didn't tell me if I was yeah. not a vegan, you just put it in front of me, like, here, have this sausage. It's, I would have ate it and not known that it was not really. It's pretty hard to tell. I mean, look at that. It's, That's uh, And the flavor, I feel like, is like spot on, too. It's a, For me, it's got a nice hot sausage, like yeah. hot Italian sausage, which is kind of why I prefer I prefer that to the sweet, mm -hmm. personally. No, so I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna, gonna to grade it. I'm just going to go A+. Plus. Okay. I'm just I'm gonna, gonna say it. I'm going to have to disagree with you a little bit. Really? Okay. I think that the texture is like very 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 hard to tell that it's not a sausage yeah that's crazy yeah i've had other i've had the the light life yeah and to me it's a lot more sausagey the flavor flavor interesting okay. this this flavor to me is um not as italian sausagey hmm. as okay. i would have expected okay now i think i'm gonna go B plus. Okay. It's pretty close. Okay. So I, I, I would definitely have this wow. for dinner. Maybe we should then talk about the uh, field roast one. Field roast one. For me, I see. I kind of had the opposite reaction with the field roast one. I felt like yeah. the flavor, while well, I liked it, yeah, didn't really feel as sausagey to me, yeah. and the texture was more its own thing. You know, mm -hmm. it like definitely felt like a little bit like firmer or something yeah. than the actual cooked sausage. Kind of like. A little more chewy, yeah, you know chewy. what I mean? Yeah, that's all right. So I'm, I'm probably gonna go B plus on that one okay. for me. Like I, I do enjoy the flavor. It's more of like a sweet sausage flavor, but yep. it definitely tasted like its own thing. I agree with you. I, I'm surprised that with the amount of spices that are in it, mm -hmm. that it wasn't as sausagey tasting. Mm -hmm. It does feel like its own thing, and I'm gonna give it a B. Okay. Because it's not as good as the uh, Beyond Meat. Fair and enough. 
Yeah, I, I do want to say I highly do, I highly recommend trying Light Light Life. Okay, yeah. So you're riding for Light Life. I'm really you're, riding. You're for a rider dies Light Life right now. Okay. I can't even tell the difference between that. and That's that very interesting. Actually. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave some comments below. Tell us like if you use any fake sausage or faux sausage. I never know what to call it. I always want to say sausage. fake sausage, but that feels weird because it makes sausage. it sound like it's like not real. Like yeah. you're eating something imaginary or something. It's a real sausage, guys. Yeah. Is this real? Is it real now? Yeah, time is a flat circle. I've learned yeah. anything from Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. But anyway, I don't know if that's relevant. But yeah, definitely leave some comments. Let us know if there are other brands that you like or how do you like to eat them too? I mean, yeah. it's like I prefer to have them in like a roll. Okay. And but I kind of I kind of like this more stir fry action sort of. I'm really digging the stir fry. Members. But are there any other ways that you guys eat them? So let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear it, and maybe we'll feature one of your comments in next week's episode. Yeah. Huh? Hmm? How about that? How about well, that? Incentive. Ooh. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe. Uh, bell button if you want notifications if you don't that's cool too just subscribe and YouTube will tell you sometimes I guess when videos come out and, and if you really want okay if you're really so bold we got these aprons here hardcore yeah fans and guess what you can get them where can they get well, them? I think they can get them on Patreon, but they might be out. You gotta go check. Yeah, go check. Go run right go now. Run to Patreon.com slash now you know. Run to a new tab, which I guess would involve a couple yeah. movements. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like run with your fingers. Use your fingers to run across Patreon.com the keyboard. slash now you know, or click the link that will be in the description below. And, and uh, uh, check out if we still got these or our mugs, you know? Yeah, there's a tons of stuff going on. There's so many perks, and, and it's, almost like a, it's almost like you're stealing from us. Yeah, because I mean, also if you get like, the apron, you also get every other perk underneath it. So you get a mug, a t-shirt, a hat, oh a poster. God. That's too much. A shout out. Zach, access me, to Zach, we're giving away way too much stuff here. Yeah. What, what are you thinking? We're gonna go out of business any day now. We can't keep running like this. this we're just ridiculous. hoping to get bought out. Yeah, so please take advantage of us and go get our stuff. Yeah, we're giving it away. We're, so. we're literally throwing it at you, so. <laughs> That's how we deliver it. That's we we asked the UPS guy to yeah. throw it at you. Yeah, we're like, UPS guy, when you get to their house, Throw it. Literally throw it in their face. Window. So if you just get a big loud smashing noise, if you have like really strong glass, yeah. it doesn't quite make it through, then you go outside, you'll see your, your package just sitting on the grass. Perfect. Yeah. All right, so thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. I've been Bobby. I've been Brent. And you're watching... Learning with Bobby and Brent. Okay, Brent. Yep. So what's this week's comment of the week? I just need to jive to this uh, jazz tune we got going on apparently. Hopefully I can find Hopefully you have BPM. something in this BPM. Yeah. Hopefully you've got perfect timing. We'll have to write something. It's so not. yeah, uh, we got a comment this week from Dean Moran or Morin. I would say Morin because I know a couple Morins. Yeah. I know a couple Morons too. Oh yeah, like me. Dean Morin says, have you guys considered vegan desserts? I'm sure more people would be interested. By the way, nice work. Smiley face. Brent, have we considered vegan desserts? Um, we have considered vegan desserts. We, we haven't talked about it on the show, but I've made a few vegan desserts over the years for like holidays and get togethers and whatnot. Oh, yeah. So I have a few ideas in mind for the show. All right, well. So maybe just a little tease. Um, something I like to do around Thanksgiving time is a vegan pumpkin cheesecake. Oh my God. Yeah. 